everyone and welcome back to story time with the Huntington Beach Public Library. My name is Miss Laura and I am here at my home coming to you to do another digital story time. So welcome back and welcome if you're just joining us for story time. Now we are going to get started today by putting our hands out just like this. Can you show me your hands? Now can you wave them in front of you? and make them stop. Very good. Now can you tap them in your lap and clap them together. Very good. Let's pat and clap. Pat and clap. Pat and clap. And we're gonna keep patting and clapping and sing a little song. So let's go just a little bit faster, ready? Hello everybody, how are you? Hello everybody, how are you? It's such a lovely day, I'm so glad you came to play. Hello everybody, how are you? Give yourselves a big clap, hello and welcome. Now that we've woken up our singing voices, we are going to wake up our wiggle fingers. Can you show me your wiggle fingers? Can you wiggle your fingers on your head? Can you wiggle your fingers on your shoulders? Can you wiggle your fingers on your knees? Now, can you wiggle your fingers all the way down to your toes? Now, wiggle your fingers up, 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 up. Do you have wiggle fingers in your hair? We need to shoo them away. Are you ready? Now, can you put those wiggle fingers away? Very good. Put them out just like this. And let's sing again together. We're going to sing Open, Shut Them. Are you ready? Here we go. Open, shut them. Open. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them. Slowly creep them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth. Say, let them in, in, in. Very good. Can you hide your hands away behind your back? Hide them away and let's bring them out and say peekaboo. Are you ready? One, two, three, peekaboo. I see you. Give yourself a big clap. You did a great job waking up your singing voice and your wiggle fingers and your open shut them hands. Now, are we ready to find out what we're talking about today? I think so. So let's take a look at our shapes. Let's start right here. What shape is this? Hmm. I know, it's a rectangle. Now, what color is our rectangle? Hmm. Oh, that looks like purple to me. We have a purple rectangle. Now, I'm gonna let you guess what you think is hiding back there. So everybody say shh. And turn to the person sitting next to you and whisper what you think is hiding. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Did you whisper? Let's look and see what's hiding then. Ready? One, two, three. What is that? It's a dragon. We have a dragon up here. Should we see what else is hiding? Let's look and see. What shape 
is this. Hmm. I know. It's a heart. Now, what color is the heart? It's pink. Of course it is. We have a pink heart. Now let's look and see what it's hiding. Ready? One, two, three. What is that? It's another dragon. We have another dragon up here. Now, how many dragons do we have? One, two. Should we look and see what our last shape is hiding? Let's check. What shape is this? It's a star. We have a star up here. Now, what color is the star? I'll give you a hint. It's the same color as a banana. What color is a banana? Yellow, of course. We have a yellow star. Let's see what it's hiding. Ready? One, two, three. What is that? It's not another dragon. It's a taco. We have two dragons and a taco. So what do you think we're talking about today? I know what we must be reading. We must be reading one of my favorites. It's called Dragons Love Tacos. So let's see what this book is all about. This is Dragons Love Tacos by Adam Rubin. Oh, look at that. It's a taco cave. Let's see who's in there. Hey, kid! Did you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big gigantic tacos and tiny little baby tacos as well. Did you know that dragons love tacos? I did. Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tortillas. Maybe shh, it's a secret. Either way, if you want to make friends with a dragon, tacos are key. Hey dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? Do you think he's gonna tell us? I don't think so. But wait! As much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. They hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. They hate spicy chunky salsa and spicy smooth salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons can't stand it. Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon's ear smoke. Just one single speck of hot pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. Spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, oh boy. What do you think happens? Let's keep reading and find out. If you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. We want tomatoes, lettuce, cheese. These are all good toppings for tacos for dragons. What other kinds of things do you think dragons like? Hmm. Hey, dragon, how do you feel about spicy taco toppings? Ooh, what is that dragon doing? He's holding his tummy. Everybody grab your tummy and say, oh. 
Ooh. Hmm. What else did we think dragons like? Oh, well, dragons love parties. They like costume parties and pool parties. They like big gigantic parties with accordions and tiny little parties with charades. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the comforting sound of a good friend's laughter. The only thing that dragons love more than parties or tacos is taco parties. Taco parties are parties with lots of tacos. Right, Theo? If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos. Plant loads of tacos. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos. That's about how many tacos dragons need for a taco party. After all, what do dragons love? Tacos. Hey dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? Does that dragon look excited? I think so. Just remember, dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host your taco party with dragons, get rid of all the spicy salsa. In fact, bury the spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons can't find it. Look at that! These dragons love your taco party. They love the music, they love the decorations, they especially love the tacos. Congratulations! It's a good thing you got rid of all of that spicy. Wait a second, what? What are those little green things in the salsa? You didn't read the label? It says, totally mild salsa. Now with spicy jalapeno peppers. Oh no, what do you think's gonna happen? Let's see. Dragons, listen to me. Do not eat those tacos. Those little green specks in the salsa, those are jalapeno peppers. They are super spicy. I know you love tacos, dragons, but you are not gonna love those tacos. Let's warn those dragons together. Are you ready? Point your finger like this and say, don't eat those tacos. Are you ready? Don't eat those tacos. Uh-oh. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. Maybe they're just in it for those taco breaks. After all, what do dragons love? Tacos. The Thank you all so much for being such good listeners. That was such a fun story. Now, I think it's time for us to sing a song. Now the song we're going to sing today is not about dragons, oh no. It's not about tacos, no, no, no. It's about what dragons hate most in this world. And what did we find out? in our story that dragons hate? Spicy salsa. So we've got to get our salsa mixing. So I want you to put your arms out just like this. Bring them in tight like this. And we're gonna roll our mixers. Can you wobble from side to side? Very good. And our song goes like this. Ready? Salsa, spicy salsa, salsa. Salsa, spicy salsa, salsa, 
First you take tomatoes and you crush them. You crush them. You crush them, crush them, crush them. Salsa, spicy salsa, salsa. Salsa, spicy salsa, salsa. Then you take an onion and you chop it. You chop it. You chop it, chop it, chop it. Then you take an onion and you chop it. You chop it. You chop it, chop it, chop it. Salsa, spicy salsa, salsa. Salsa, spicy salsa, salsa. Then you take your peppers and you slice them. You slice them. You slice them, slice them, slice them. Then you take your peppers and you slice them. You slice them. You slice them, slice them, slice them. Salsa, spicy salsa, salsa. Salsa, spicy salsa, salsa. Then you take a spoon and you stir it. You stir it. You stir it, stir it, stir it. Then you take a spoon and you stir it. You stir it. You stir it, stir it, stir it. Salsa, spicy salsa, salsa. Salsa, spicy salsa, salsa. Then you take a chip and you eat it. You eat it. You eat it, eat it, eat it. Then you take a chip and you eat it. You eat it. You eat it, eat it, eat it. Salsa, spicy salsa, salsa. Salsa, spicy salsa, salsa. Then it's in your mouth and it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Then it's in your mouth and it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Salsa, spicy salsa, salsa. Salsa, spicy salsa, salsa. Then it's in your tummy and it's yummy, it's yummy, it's yummy, yummy, yummy. Then it's in your tummy and it's yummy, it's yummy. It's yummy, yummy, yummy. Salsa, spicy salsa, salsa. Salsa, spicy salsa, salsa. Salsa, spicy salsa, salsa. Salsa, spicy salsa. Ooh, caliente. Give yourself a big clap. You did a great job singing. Now, my friends, we are wrapping up our Dragon's Love Taco story time. So I want you to put your goodbye hands up just like this. And I want you to wave them back and forth just like this. And we're going to sing our goodbye song. Ready? Goodbye, my friends. I will see you soon. See you soon, I will see you soon. Goodbye, my friends, I will see you soon on another story time day. Thank you all so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time and I hope you're all having a wonderful time at home with your families.